production. And normally, on normal circumstances, we'd be producing more of this per hour. I mean, this is just devastating. This ain't paying our, our phone bill. I mean, it's just uh, what you see right here is about six, 7,000 pounds of fish uh, on normal days. Normal conditions, we pack eight or 10,000 pounds an hour, 12, 18 hours a day, day in and day out. And it's just, uh, you know, we're just dead in the water here. It's just, thank God we got this little bit here, but it's more than it was a week ago. But this has been all we packed in over 14 days due to Oregon Inlet. And on top of that, just the little bit of seafood you got in here, that's less people that you've got working at the same time. Yes, sir. We probably got about uh, a third of the employees. We only bring them in because we, we feel for them, and they, and they got to eat. And uh, right now we should be having 25 to 35 people going wide open, everybody running around, trucks backing in and out, cutting fish, and, 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 and this is our season. You know, it's just like... Uh, uh, Nags Head is uh, July 4th weekend, and, and you can see what we got. We got just absolutely nothing, and uh, it don't look very good for the future. As far as the boats that have been able to get in and out, I mean, they're, they're telling you the same thing, it seems like. Yeah, what little bit we can get in and out of it between the dredge and the Coast Guard, it sounds like since we went down there a week ago, uh, it's done nothing but getting worse. Uh, it's been over a week, and the aids of navigation can't be set. Uh, we got a small dredge down there trying to clean out underneath the draw and just yesterday a boat drawing three or four foot of water had a hard time getting under there and it's just, uh, I've, I've never seen it this bad in my lifetime and I've been around here for 40 years and involved in this business and it's just, uh, if this ain't an emergency I can't imagine what is. It's just, uh, it's, it looks like it could just close completely in and be denied of everybody. And you had a conversation uh, with uh, somebody on uh Governor-elect Pat McCrory's transition team. What have you been telling them in Raleigh? I've been just telling them that this is a this is an emergency and this revenue uh, highway has been denied. It's been taken away and business is going out of this state and it's leaving and going to Virginia and New Jersey and it ain't just uh, the commercial fishermen. It's all mariners. It's traveling up down this coast and uh, this area, this state, this county is losing a lot of revenue and uh, it's in my lifetime, once again, I've never seen it this bad. I've seen it close up, get fixed, get the right funding, correct the product. But right now, uh, even the small boats are in jeopardy of coming in here.